Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a comparison test between the Nightcore P23i, the Convoy M21B. This is mainly just some beam shots at the end, but I want to talk a bit about the differences as well to start off with so that you can decide what's best for you because both of these I would classify as throwy flashlights, but the Convoy M21B is less than half the price of the P23i. So is it worthwhile investing the extra money in the P23i? What do you get for the extra money? Well, I'm gonna show you and then you're gonna be able to decide what's best for you. So let's get started straight away and I'm gonna talk about what's included. The P23i, it actually comes with pretty much everything you need. You get a clip, you get a battery, the 21700 Nightcore cell. You also get a charging cable, you get a manual, you get some O-rings as well. Pretty sure that's about it. Oh, you also get a holster with the flashlight. So pretty much everything that you need for the light is included. If you look at the Convoy M21B, it doesn't come with a clip. It also doesn't come with the charging cable, comes with the lanyard and no battery. So you basically get the flashlight and the lanyard and you don't even get an instruction manual. But again, this is a bargain because you get it for less than half the price of the P23i. You know, I've got a lot of flashlights, I've got a lot of these cables and clips and things like that. So for me, I don't necessarily need all the other holsters and accessories because I already have them. So if I just want a flashlight that has the LED that I want, has the beam profile, I've got my own batteries. I mean, bang for buck, you can't beat Convoy. But let's have a closer look at the build quality and the design. Now, Nightcore, I think have a more premium build quality. The anodization is a little bit shinier. I mean, if you have a look at it, it's just a nice sort of shiny anodization, the cutouts and everything like that as well. Uh, just milled more finely and with a bit more precision. You've got more of an interesting design on the flashlight as well, even these little bits here. One thing that I find with some of the convoy lights, because um, I keep a lot of the lights in my backpack, I will have them whack against each other sometimes and the convoy lights tend to scratch up a lot around these areas here, just where the cooling fins are, uh, just because there are some sharper edges. So you get some little nicks around there. But if you're not worried about that, for me, at the end of the day, I don't really baby my flashlights. I just chuck them in my bag, have them on me. I don't, you know, I don't throw them on the ground or handle them excessively with excessive rough treatment, anything like that. But at the end of the day, they should be able to handle some rugged treatment. So I don't try to, you know, nice place them everywhere. Sometimes I'll just drop them on a table or something like that. Or if I'm outside doing a bit of work, I'll just leave it near some rocks. No big deal as long as the lens doesn't get scratched. They should be able to handle that type of general treatment. And, you know, considering especially Nightcore P23i has, I think, a 2 meter or 1.5 to 2 meter drop resistance. The anodizing on the Convoy is a matte black, a nice sort of matte black finish. And for budget flashlights, I think Convoy do some of the best anodizing out there. I'm a big fan. It just um, looks very clean and really smooth, does the job. Disassembly, now this is a, a big one. If you're looking for a flashlight that you can modify and uh, not really worry too much, the Convoy is easy. You can really you can just unscrew the top of the head, the bezel, get into the flashlight, get into the pill, very easily change and modify whatever you need to. You can flip the battery tube around, all kinds of things. You can even get into the tail cap. With the Nightcore P23i, you're not able to get in there, but Nightcore do offer an extended warranty on their flashlights. So it's understandable why they don't want you to get in there through around the LED and accidentally break something. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're more of a person that likes to modify flashlights, and uh, yeah, change things around, tinker with things. Convoy is probably one for you. This one's a standalone product. You're not able to really get in there and change it around. You probably can. You, you need some type of strap to open it up, but then you're gonna void the warranty. So batteries and charging, like I mentioned before, they both come with the 21700 cell. Now, Convoy do not have onboard charging. It's something I really wish that they had. Um, but again, it's a budget flashlight. And so you're gonna need to actually have your own cells, but um, you need to have an external charger as well. So this is a, a, a battery that actually I got from Convoy, but in 90% of the cases they will ship without a cell. So I actually have to put this in, a, in an external charger to charge it. And for some of you who are new to flashlights, that might be a little bit confusing for you. You might have to go source a charger, 
figure out how it works. Another option is that you can get a battery that has its own charging port on it. So that I think is a, yeah, it's a good option if you don't want to buy an external charger, probably a better investment to buy the external charger if you've got a few different flashlights or a few different cells as well, because you know the unprotected cells in this form are a lot cheaper than some of them that have protection circuits and a little bit, bit more of the uh, electronic circuitry that allow you to charge the battery directly. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, if you look at the Nightcore P23i, it actually comes with onboard charging. Okay, you can see here, there's a little port, just pry that port open, and there you go. You plug in the USB cable that came with the flashlight, and you can charge it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the P23i comes with a proprietary battery. You can't use any other battery with this flashlight. So looking at it just underneath the camera here, it's actually got the positive and negative terminal on the same side of the flashlight. And in Nightcore's product description that offers increased current flow. So there's the negative terminal there. It's basically interesting little design. You're gonna have to use this cell. And if you don't have one of these cells, you can't just chuck in an unprotected cell or any other button top in there. For some people, that's definitely a deal breaker. So let's have a look at the size comparison. Pretty much the same. I mean, if you have a look at it side by side, the Convoy M21B does have a wider bezel and it throws further. I'll show you later in the beam shot test. But, uh, you know, they both have smooth reflectors. The reflector is significantly larger, though, in the M21B compared to the P23i. It's a deeper reflector as well. This is like a shallower and smaller reflector. Okay, but uh, you also, you know, you get this glass breaking bezel, as you can see here. Um, you've got these three ceramic beads, this sort of tactical-like design. The M21B has a simple sort of bezel here. You know, you could have these little cutouts. You could break a, a window with that as well, but there's nothing else there, just a, just a cutout designed. Okay, so really basic, but you know, does the trick at the end of the day. So in terms of the UI, this is where there are quite a few differences. Now, if we look at the back of the flashlight, Convoy just has one button. And this button you use basically to switch between modes. You half press the button. And there are, I think, 10 to 20 different modes in here that you can select different groupings. So I've got it on the five group mode where it starts at 0.1%. Uh, I think 1%, 10%, 30%, and 100%, then turns off. It's got um, mode memory after one second as well, which is fantastic because, you know, if there's no tactical mode on this flashlight, because I actually tend to use tactical mode a lot just to light things up here and there, the momentary mode. If there's not that mode, then at least I want the light to be in the same mode when I turn it back on again. I don't have to wait a whole, um, you know, whole few seconds or, or whatever to reactivate and get that same mode. So I think that's a really good option, um, a good little feature that Convoy have in their lights. In terms of the Nightcore P23i, you've got two buttons on the back. You've got this main button, and this um, this button here is to activate turbo. Okay, you press it halfway, press it full to lock it. You press that mode button to get into a sort of strobe, uh, strobe mode as well. Okay, there's actually two mode groupings in here. So Convoy have a whole bunch of mode groupings. Uh, this has two. So there's this mode, which is tactical mode, and there's also a daily mode. I'll show you how to change that in a moment. But uh, basically, you um, in this tactical mode, if you turn it on, you press the mode little mode button underneath. Uh, so it's on through that switch, and I'm just clicking that little mode button. You can change the brightness, and that's basically about it. Now, the other mode is the EDC mode, so daily mode. And how to activate that is that you hold down the mode button. While the light is strobing, you unscrew the tail cap. It flashes, let go of the mode, screw the tail cap back in, and you have access to this other mode, which just goes from low, medium, high, and then one mode above high. To access turbo, you press and hold the little mode button on the back. So it separates out the modes, makes makes it a little bit, it starts on um, the dimmer option if you want it to as well. So I usually just leave it on the lowest mode. So when I switch off the, the light, and then I switch it back on again, um, it starts on that lowest mode. So if I'm using it around the house, I don't want to blind myself on that tactical mode. But once I'm outside of the house, you know, definitely switch it over again. I think it's cool that you also get access to that one step strobe no matter what mode you're in. So, you know, it's a good safety feature to have, but uh, normally, you know, 
for me, I'm just going to activate that tactical mode when I'm outside. I think having access to the full 3000 lumens with a half press of that button, um, that's why I have a tactical flashlight, just to have, to have that ability. So fantastic. A few other features here. There's a little light here on the side. Okay, you can see that. On the side there, right there, that's the battery indicator. So it will indicate uh, blue, flashy blue, red, flashy red, depending on the capacity of the battery. So it's a good little option, especially when you're looking at a tactical flashlight. So with the P23i, you can see there's definitely a few more premium features available on there with the UI. But uh, at the same time, Convoy do offer a whole bunch of mode groupings that you can go in. For, for example, if you just want it to be on turbo, or 100% all the time, there's actually a mode for that. Or if you just want it in the lower modes, if you want some strobe modes in there, if you want some bike flasher modes in there, that's also available in the UI. Just got to switch it over to the mode grouping that you want. Um, I used to have it on just a three mode grouping, so low, medium, high. Now I've put it into the five mode grouping. I find that's yeah, just a little bit easier because sometimes I might use it around the house. Um, the lowest mode on the P23i, I still think that's too too high. Um, whereas the Convoy, I think that's got a proper moonlight mode at that 0.1%, which is not going to stuff up your night vision when you're walking around. So let's talk about the total output. So the lumens on each is quite different, 3000 lumens on the P23i and on the Convoy M21B. This has got the 8 amp driver powering the Osram W1. So it's basically a CUL PM1 LED. This is technically able to produce 2000 lumens, but I'm not sure what it's actually making. It also depends on the bin. So we can safely say probably 1,600 to 2,000 lumens on this range. So, you know, about half to maybe two thirds of the lumen output of the P23. And another thing you should know is that the beam profile is quite different. You'll see in the beam shots later, you know, they both are very throwy, but there's more flood on the P23i. It produces more lumens altogether. So you're going to get more flood, but also it's just got a smaller reflector in there. So it doesn't have the additional concentration of lumens in the center of the beam, like the Convoy M21B here, which has, you know, less flood but there's still decent enough flood but a very very like smooth light ring around a highly concentrated hot spot so really you know they're kind of similar but at the end of the day if you want something that has more flood but still has really good throw p23i is the one to go you've got all the bells and whistles on there both of these are easily pocketable but you know if you want something that's just ready to go and has that tactical functionality get that one you're gonna be paying more but at the end of the day, you know, you don't have to be messing around with um, understanding everything and understanding how to change the mode groupings. You don't have to figure out what battery to buy, all that type of stuff. For me, I really like the customization that you get with Convoy, the value that you get with them. I've got all the gear at home to charge up the battery separately for a lot of flashlight enthusiasts. Convoy is really a go-to. It's an absolute bargain. You get so much value out of it. And, you know, at the end of the day, this thing outthrows the P23i. It doesn't produce as many lumens, but it easily outthrows it. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to check out a little bit more about these two flashlights. I actually got this one from a company called Flashlight Go. They're a new retailer recently. And I'll leave the links of both these flashlights in the description if you're interested in checking them out. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, do me a favor and click the like button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me to get my videos out to more people. If you wanna see me make more reviews, make sure you also subscribe. Thanks for watching. We've got the Nightcore P23i on the left and the Convoy M21B. And they're both throwing flashlights, throwy sort of flashlights. But the Nightcore, of course, is double the price. Probably more, actually. A lot more. So I'm going to get the P23i here on the left. And uh, look at that. Large hotspot. Gigantic hotspot. It's kind of like a, a spot beam or something. Incredible throw. And a lot of flood as well. This SFT70 produces so much light. Let's have a look at the M21B with 
the CUL PM1 emitter and you can see automatically there's less flood a lot less floody light but it does beat it in the throw significantly I mean I can see under those trees a lot clearer right at the back and you know the beam profile you can see the edges of the beam as well pretty smooth but a little bit more narrow whereas the other this one here the P23i you can see it fills up the entire camera frame pretty much just this gigantic wall of light around the edges as well as the uh, the hot spot which is incredibly bright and uh, large as well quite a useful hotspot I know a lot of people complain about throwy lights not having enough of a uh, enough of a hotspot to be useful but definitely here no way you can complain with that when you're comparing that with the M21B I mean it's still still decent you can use this as a walking light even on the lower modes there's quite a you know, bit of ambient light going around this area as well. So you can see some of that ambient light. Okay, but if we just compare, turn it off. Look at that, look at that amount of flood there. Turn it off. Again, look at that. Quite a big difference in terms of just the flood and the size of that hot spot. But uh, again, M21B does out throw it. Try that little tree there. Yeah. Illuminates it significantly more than M21B. But uh, yeah, I hope this video is useful for you.